the Safety Board and the Federal Highway Administration conducted a thorough review of the design of the bridge, with emphasis on the design of the gusset plates. The investigation has determined that the design process led to a serious error in sizing some of the gusset plates in the main trusses. Specifically, the gusset plates at the eight nodes that I mentioned to you earlier. Basically, those 16 gusset plates were too thin to provide the margin of safety expected in a properly designed bridge of this scale. These gusset plates were roughly half the thickness that would be required. Half an inch thick rather than one inch thick. In an effort to determine why those gusset plates are undersized, we wanted to examine the bridge's design methodology, which was used in the 60s to verify that it was sound. Unfortunately, the calculations used for the main truss gusset plates could not be found. So we cannot determine whether the error was a calculation error, a drafting error, or some other error in the design process. We also examined the bridge inspection records. And although those inspection records identified and tracked some areas of cracking and corrosion, at this point in the investigation, there's really no indication that any of these played any role in the collapse of the bridge. It is important to understand that the bridge inspections would not have identified the error in the design of the gusset plates. 